Okay, so now I have got uh, laser cut all the parts in uh, six millimeter aluminum, and uh, here I've just put them back just as they are in the SketchUp drawing. Uh, if we go a little closer, uh, there's actually some minor errors here. You can see here, for example, this one, the uh, mounting holes are just marked rather than drilled or laser cut so I think there are some small glitches here and there and if you check out this piece here then uh, there's basically a melt down here and, and that appears on some of the items so I think I need to clean them up a little bit um, and I will do that both with the drills so for the 5.5 millimeter and for the uh, eccentric knots here, I'll use this 9 over 32 uh, drill bit. So I think that's the next step. I'll basically go through all the holes and uh, polish uh, the outsides and insides of all the uh, uh, items here. have been drilled to the exact size but uh, next is to remove all the burrs and I have uh, one of these deburrs are here so I'll just touch the plate with that one For the C-axis plates, I've only had uh, the laser cut a 5 millimeter hole in, in the plates and it's because you need to make this recessed hole that fits the uh, ball bearing and I intend to do that using uh, bits like this to cut the hole 2 millimeter down on each side so the plates can be used on either, either way so I can get the um, the, the, this eye for the uh, proximity switch goes to this side and to that side. So that's the next step I'll be doing. This is how it looks after we have cut the hole for the ball bearing on both sides and then I need to open up this one. This is right now 5 mm so I'll work it up till maybe 10-11 mm. So next step I will be sanding all the edges and the internal using uh, the radiator arm saw as a sander and, and then to get rid of some of all this stuff here. So last uh, process would be to give them a small uh, sanding on the surface on the drum sander. So here we are. Now all the parts have been sanded and everything. We'll take a few close-ups. You can see the recess for the uh, bearing. And you can see I've put in all the small holes that was missing uh, 
from the uh, laser cutter for some strange reason. So uh, basically these parts I consider them ready for uh, building uh, 